3631 Tactical. Today I want to talk about on target, on trigger. So I think I've said it in other videos. I've been a law enforcement officer for quite a few years now and in the course of that um, employment I've been sent to a lot of firearms training classes. And I've been through quite a few classes where they teach this thing on target, on trigger. Meaning if your gun is on a target, your finger should be on the trigger. And I just, uh, I just really don't agree with that. If you are a law enforcement officer, CPL holder, citizen who just has a gun in your house for self-defense, please be guided by your department's policies or your state uh, and local laws. Um, don't go by what I'm saying, because where I live may be a little bit different than where you live. So please go by your local uh, and state laws. And if you're in with any kind of uh, law enforcement agency, please go by what your policies tell you you can and cannot do. Now there are a lot of situations you could be in as a law enforcement officer where you would have your weapon out, say some dangerous situation where maybe you're stopping a car and the car is a, a, a carjacked vehicle and you're getting people out of the car and ordering them to the ground and you can have your weapon out because it's a very dangerous situation. Or maybe even as a CPL holder, um, you're out in public somewhere and, and something happens where you end up drawing your weapon out, maybe you order somebody to the ground and, instead of using deadly force. Or maybe you're a, a, a homeowner who just has a weapon in your house, a gun in your house. Somebody breaks into your house and you decide that it's not deadly force, you're not going to shoot the person, but you're trying to order them to the ground or order them out of your house. There are times when you might have a gun out and be justified to have a gun out and have it in your hand, um, but you don't necessarily want to shoot that person right away. You don't want to take that, uh, that action of deadly force right away. There's, there's some commands being given or there's something else going on. And, and that's where this whole on target, on trigger thing comes into play. So the real world is not a 180 degree safe gun range with paper targets down range. You know, if you're out in public, there's going to be all kinds of things. Maybe there's curbs, there's potholes, there's, um, there's cars, there's vehicles, there's, there's all kinds of things in the way. It's, it's not a, a nice, safe, flat 180 degree range. So if you're doing something where you have your weapon out and say you're ordering somebody to the ground or you're, whatever you're doing and you have that gun aimed in and your fingers on the trigger, what's to say that you're going to stand perfectly still? What if I have to take a step this way or a step that way? and um, whatever, I lose my balance and I, I end up pulling that trigger on accident. What if I have a, a sympathetic reaction, meaning I hear a sh uh, something else, some other loud noise, and, and your finger's already on that trigger and it makes you do one of these, have that sympathetic reaction and your gun goes off and you end up shooting somebody that you're not justified to shoot. That's not gonna be a good day. Whether you're a law enforcement officer, CPL holder, whatever it is, if you shoot somebody you're not justified to shoot, that's gonna be a bad day. I do not absolutely see any reason to have your finger on the trigger while you have a, a gun pointed at somebody, unless you are absolutely justified to shoot them, then your finger goes on the trigger and you pull the trigger. There's no keeping your finger on the trigger and staying aimed in. There's no reason to do that. And I'm gonna prove it to you right now. All right, so I got my timer here. I'm gonna draw the gun out, put my finger on the trigger. When the buzzer goes off, I'm gonna pull the trigger. And then I'm gonna do it again, but the second time I'm gonna have my finger along the slide or along the uh, frame of the gun rather. And we're gonna see what's the time difference. That was 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Now I'm gonna do it with my finger up here along the frame of the gun. That was 0 0.25, 0 0.25, exactly the same. So you can see you're not, you're not gaining any time by having your finger on the trigger. So why have your finger on the trigger? Unless you're actually pulling the trigger, there's no reason to have your finger on that trigger. There's too many bad things that can come of that. The whole, you know, my gun's on target, my finger's on trigger, that's, for me, that's a really a, a risky, dangerous thing, and you have nothing to gain by doing that. All right, so I'm gonna do the demonstration again, but I have a paper target downrange this time, because I'm sure there's somebody watching this saying, oh, you just dumped them in the berm, or, or make some excuse as to why they think this works or doesn't work. So this time, same exact demonstration, but I'm going to put it uh, actually into a paper target. So here we go. We're going to start off with finger on the trigger for the first go. Get our timer ready. Finger on the trigger. Timer's ready now. Ooh, got a little faster. 0 0.19, 0 0.19, finger on the trigger. Let's do finger on the frame of the gun. Then we'll show you the target. That time was 0 0.29, 0 0.29. So the difference there was only 
a tenth of a second. A tenth of a second. A tenth of a second is not worth accidentally shooting somebody. And you see the accuracy of the rounds are, I don't know, two and a half inches apart or something. So there's no major um, impact on accuracy. There's, there's, just, there's no reason to have your finger on the trigger unless you're actually pulling the trigger. Now, I know there's a lot of law enforcement agencies that teach this method, and I don't know why. You see, it took us two bullets and a timer to prove that there's really no benefit to it. I think the thing that people don't understand, people maybe think that it's gonna be faster if your finger's on the trigger, or whether you're here or here, there's still a certain amount of just human reaction time that it's gonna take for your brain to make the decision and send that decision to your, to your finger there to actually pull the trigger. So even though my finger's on the trigger, you think that should be faster, it's not, because it takes a minute for your brain to process the information and actually take action. So from here or from here, it's, it's, it's nothing. There is no difference. And you just saw me do the demonstration. It was 0.25 both times. Um, I just, I, I don't see what you're gonna gain by using this technique. But what you are gonna gain if you have your finger off the trigger, if I slip, trip, fall, step on something, some, a loud noise, car backfire, something, the sympathetic type reaction is not gonna happen because my finger's up here. The gun's not gonna go bang. But there's a lot of things that can go bad when my finger's on the trigger and I'm not intending to shoot. I love to hear your comments about this technique. So in the comment section, tell me what you think. But please use something from your own, um, own experience. Don't tell me what the FBI does or what the Navy SEALs do or whatever some other person does. Tell me what you do and what you personally have experienced or think about this technique. When you're on target, should you have your finger on the trigger or should you not?